My name is Erin David. I'm the director of plant ecology at Archbold Biological Station. We are a nonprofit field station located in south central Florida at the southern tip of the Lake Wales Ridge. The Lake Wales Ridge is home to almost two dozen plant taxa that are found here and nowhere else. Um, the reason it's, why it's so special is because this area uh, where the ridge is is actually hundreds of thousands to potentially millions of years older than a lot of the rest of the state of Florida. And so we have species that evolved here essentially on islands um, that were not really found anywhere else and they still persist here to this day. One of the species that we are studying is Hypericum edisonianum, which is right here. Um, so this is not a strict Lake Wells Ridge endemic, uh, but it's found mostly around the Lake Wells Ridge and some of the areas surrounding the ridge. Um, here at Archbold, it is all over the place. You'd be surprised to learn that it was really range restricted and endangered, uh, but you really just only find it here and nowhere else. Um, so as an example, this is one of our seasonal ponds at Archbold Biological Station. Um, and around the margins of the pond, you can just see all these yellow flowers. Um, and it is just, it, it just grows not quite in a monoculture, but pretty densely. And um, pretty much all of our ponds look like this here. So what we're doing today is uh, we're at the beginning of a hopefully long-term study on the species uh, to try to get a sense of the, the demography. So how, how uh, frequently uh, new seedlings pop up, how long individuals live, um, and then get a sense of whether these populations are increasing or decreasing with some of the stressors that we find out here. So one of the stressors that we see with this species is just the hydrology of the system. So whether, uh, whether the pond is too wet or too dry, because Hypericum really likes it right in the middle, uh, right, right getting its feet wet, basically, um, where it's a little bit wet, but not too wet. Um, and, with, and with climate change and just generally changing weather patterns, uh, we're worried about the hydrology shifting and um, it no longer being amenable for the species. So another stressor that we're worried about is hog damage. So wild hogs like to come through these ponds and forage um, and root around for food. Um, and once they start doing that, they can really disrupt the hypericum that's, that grows here. Um, and so one of the factors that we're, that we're working on is trying to understand how that hog damage affects the population dynamics of the species.